Hi family, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you all a general reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, you want to see me use any specific card decks, donate to the channel, purchase any manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in the description box below. Also, make sure you guys check out the community page. There's some information there as well. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to help our family grow and also so that you'll be notified for your future readings. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so we're just going to tap right in, family. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please protect me while channeling the messages for the general collective. Please return all negative energy back to sender 10 million fold. And anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So I've already um, drew some cards here and I'm showing that some of you all could have had a grandmother that was a very strong foundation or is, you know, whether they're here in this 3D world or if they've crossed over. There's a grandmother that plays a very significant role in your life. This person could have, your grandmother could have taught you a lot of things or just, you know, supported you through a lot of things in your life. I'm showing that whoever I'm speaking to right now is really close to their grandmother. Um, very, very close. But I'm seeing that... Um, there's someone here that sometimes questions their sexuality. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. I'm showing that there's someone that's looking at your pictures. Um, they're very much so missing you. This person is in regret. They took advantage of you. They needed help. They're apologizing for taking advantage of you. But the weirdest part about this whole situation is this person is gang stalking. So they have their friends or other people actually watching you as well. This is a very controlling person. You could have experienced some type of connection, definitely intimately with this person. Um, I'm picking up heavy domestic violence or narcissistic energy here. I'm showing that they're asking their friends to watch you. This could be on your platform, especially if you're a public figure or, you know, just your Instagram, social media page, whatever the case may be. A lot of you all are studying new skills at this time. You could be some sort of teacher, whether it be in school, spirituality, whatever the case may be. There's someone that's watching you here in the background. They're afraid to contact you, but they want you. They miss you. Weirdest thing is they have other people watching you as well. And I'm showing that. Especially if your grandmother has crossed over, rest her soul. May she rest in peace. All praises to the Most High One. But what I'm definitely seeing is that this grandmother is protecting you some kind of way. Your grandmother could be from a different ethnicity or background. Or this could be like, you know, your grandmother could be a different color. Like white, Puerto Rican, black. And you might be, you know, from a different race of course you would be mixed with that but i'm definitely seeing that um this person also that you are connecting with could be from a different background or a different ethnicity there's something that this person honestly i believe is just control this is someone that is doing magic here there's love spell here so they're coming for your connection if you're in a committed relationship or even with your friends. <clears throat> they could be asking your friends things. Maybe you are the type of person that's private. You may have not shared information with your friends in regards to things that you and this person went through. Or you guys could have mutual friends to where they're able to see your page. They could have a fake profile. I'm picking up that type of energy. This person is definitely reminiscing on memories, time spent, meals ate together, like all the littlest shit. 
But they put you through a lot of stress, a lot of trauma here with the mountain card. This person was a burden. I'm also picking up the energy that if you're studying a new skill or you're teaching something, you're much different than you were prior to separating from this person. And this person's very intimidated. At some point, they did present fake feelings. This may have been something that you did not double check. Maybe this person came off as very genuine. But it turns out that this is the type of person that looks for validation in others. So they definitely care about a self-image. Definitely picking up heavy narc energy. Okay. What else for the collective spirit? This could be someone um, that has cope. I'm not picking up the energy that you all have kids together. I'm more picking up the energy that this person is psycho and they could be having issues with their child's mom or child's dad. Um, they come off as somebody who is understanding, but really this person has mental issues. I'm definitely seeing that you're getting a lot of money. Whoever this is, is that's looking at your pictures or your platform is thinking the same thing. This person definitely wants you back here. Um, they literally can't stop thinking about you. And the fact that you're ignoring them is making them want you more. I don't know how that fucking works. This could definitely be someone that you already have blocked. So they could definitely be having other people watch you that they really trust. Picking up truck driver energy here. Yeah. Could have been a time where you thought about calling the authorities on this person, but you didn't. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up that energy for someone. <clears throat> yes. So this person is wanting to chase you after you block them out of your life. Also, some of you guys are teachers. Um, you could be chasing a goal or a dream, but I'm definitely seeing someone that wants you back. They're chasing you. They see that you're very abundant. Some kind of way they're able to view this information and they're wanting to come and bug you. They're wanting to definitely come for any connection that you have. This is the type of person where if y'all have, if they got pictures of you or whatever, and they know you in a new connection, they would do some shit like send your person pictures on Messenger or something to make it seem like you guys were still involved. This is someone that wants to come for your connections with your family, friends, and lovers. They're saying that they can win. I'm hearing I can win. Angel number 806. I'm hearing I can win. So this person is wanting to do something crazy. And they think that they'll go, they're going to get away with it. But what's happening is this person is manifesting um, legal issues. They're definitely needing money from you or a place to live or something tangible. This person, yeah, this person is thinking of ways to get to you. They have multiple people watching you. I don't know if you know this or not, but hey, there you go. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be um, definitely materialistic individual. They watch you a lot, but they hold a grudge. There's something that they're mad about. Oh, there's a bunch of broken hearts, broken promises, things of that sort. So it's like you just block this person out. You may, I'm picking up you physically block them online, but you may have also just emotionally blocked them, even if you didn't get around to actually blocking them yet. This person just cannot stop looking at you. It's like they're in the room all day on the laptop looking up information about you. A lot of you guys move. You're in a different location where they don't know where to actually show up to. You could be in a position where you may be working from home. This person cannot come to your job anymore. You may have moved locations. They can't come to your house. You blocked them on the platforms. This is the third. But some kind of way they're still connected. Just so you know. Okay. 
Yeah, you are on the rise, feminine or masculine energy. You are definitely stepping in your power. You have grown so much. And it's like, at this point, you really are in your higher energy. Um, angel number 1010. You've completed a lot of cycles that really bugged you or shit. Or just el eliminated a lot of people that didn't have your best interests. I see you really just choosing you a lot here. People are feeling the type of way, but it's like, fuck that. Like, yeah. They're spreading gossip. They're jealous of your happiness. Saudi that you're rejecting them. Also, I'm picking up the energy, and this is kind of random here. But um, if you know... And this is very specific. If your grandmother is sick here, um, you need to spend more time with her. She could feel like you're only asking her for money or you only come around when you need something. You could be focusing a lot on goals or whatever the case may be. But spend time with your grandma. I see that here. Whoever you are that I'm speaking to, please. All right. Yeah, this person, this past person is very vengeful. They're very pissed because it's like they can no longer play the victim with you. You've been able to expose this person. You picked up on some things intuitively and you really have accepted shit for what it is. But they can't stop looking you up. They they really can't. Like, even if you block this person, trust me, they still watch it. They still watching for sure. Yeah. You could have told this person. You could have told this person before. That they wasted your time. Or some shit like that. Or they was a waste of time. I'm, I'm picking up that energy. Yeah. This person is fucking hating. They definitely got some type of pictures or something. Probably thinking about using them for blackmail. Or some dumb shit like that. Yeah, because they because they're rejected. Yeah, and they don't have any money right now. This person has been exposed for being crazy and being a pretender and trying to milk you for shit that you have. So you said fuck them, easy peasy. Angel number twelve forty three, but you're tapped the fuck in. You definitely tapped in. So this person really in a shitty position because you see the shit that they got planned. Like, they can't even plan appropriately because you so tapped in. It's like you picking up the energy before they even get around to the shit. They make this shit up, man. Highly protected individual. Yeah. Highly protected individual. Yeah, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm picking up the energy of a mother, though. Some of you all, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you all do have a karmic mother here. This person, like, they could be jealous of your gifts here. You know, they could be jealous of some shit you got going on. Be careful. Like, you got the destroyer, the destroyer car here. So, I'm definitely picking up the energy that some of you all might have mothers that are very spiteful towards you. They don't show you as much of support as you think that you deserve. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, Your mom seems to be... And her feelings, especially if you study spirituality here. This could be the type of mom, and I'm just going to give you an example here. Um, so, like, if your mom goes to church all the time, right? And you don't believe in church, you're not religious, you're spiritual, you have your own path, you have your choice. Angel number 444. You know, she could really honestly be concerned about what the people at the church saying about you or some shit like that. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Mm. She could definitely want to stop this journey. That's kind of random, but that's somebody's message for sure because it wouldn't be here. Yeah. Some of you all are definitely healers. I see that. So this is definitely a mom that doesn't like the path that you're on. Talking to her is almost like talking to a brick wall. It's like you're always in between a rock and a hard place. Because it's a lack of support. And whatever you... Yeah, you can't make this shit up. The mentor. So some of you all could be high priest or high priestess. You're just somebody that looks that people look up to. You could be a public figure or have your own platform or whatever the case may be. Dang, these cards is hella mixed up. What is going on? Fuck it. We just gonna pull from the mixed up deck. Fuck it. Alright. They come out. It's meant to come out. Alright, Spirit. What else for family? Alright. You guys are gonna be doing some celebrating here. I definitely see... Um, some drinking, some collaboration, some hanging out with friends, good conversation, happy moments. After you get this money, some of y'all about to win some money at the casino or get paid or something. It's some money here. It's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. <laughs> for real, for real. I just channeled that song. Y'all got to look that up. But yeah, some somebody going to get some money. Yeah, I see them. I see your friends supporting you. Like, whatever you got going on. Some of you guys are going to actually literally win money at the damn casino. Or a jackpot. Or some shit like that. But, I definitely see your friends coming with you to celebrate something. You got to end in here uh, with this player. This broken promises person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy or a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I definitely see an ending with this person here. Um, you're making space for new. I see that a lot. New beginnings, new changes, new transitions. I also have to mention this because it's here. Spirit is telling me to mention it. Um, a lot of you guys uh, may have like lost someone or they could be going through the transition at this time make sure you definitely love on those people here because i'm seeing that in this there's some type of illness or death here okay what else? yeah whoever this person got gang stalking with them like this past person they starting to slack off. Like, they getting tired of fucking looking you up and trying to find information every fucking day. Like, this person don't have enough money in the world for them to want to spend all their fucking time doing that shit. So, there's a misalignment, a lack of collaboration with this shit. Because, like, they tired of sitting in this little ass room doing all this fucking homework when it comes to you. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Like, damn, how long? Yeah, I told you, spy card here, pages towards Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I told you, these people is getting tired of fucking spying on you. It's like they doing it day in, day night. Like, just, you know what I mean? All fucking day, angel number 1922. They getting restless with this shit, literally. So restless, like. It's like this person trying to create new ways that they can find out information you cannot make this shit up like somebody's looking you up trying to destroy something when it comes to you and your foundation whatever you're building they see you happy and you just doing your thing and it's like this person is 
really over here sitting up here brainstorming on how to fuck up your energy. What is wrong with people? They fucking stressed and depressed and can't figure shit out. Can't sleep at night, having nightmares and shit. Overwhelmed, hopeless. That's what's wrong with them. That's why they spine. Like, these people literally ain't even able to sleep. This person only asks so much about watching you. Like, they down there gotta check in once an hour and shit. But this person felt like it was a missed opportunity, but it was only because they had a lack of teamwork and too many control issues. That's exactly what's going on here. So that shit came to an end. Too many broken promises are here first and foremost. People don't be doing what they say they gonna fucking do. That's the number one problem here. And then people in their ego and shit. Like, you know, just destroying shit. Destroy. You was dealing with a destroyer. They could have broke some shit. Broken the house, the car, the fucking job. Who even knows? This person's fucking a lunatic. But I see that you are definitely educating yourself more. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. <clears throat> You're mastering a skill here, um, and you're very diligent when it comes to that. You're almost like a perfectionist. You pay a lot of attention to detail, and that's what's going to get your ass this Ten of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, security, establishment, wealth, financial abundance, prosperity, tradition, inheritance, all that shit. Yeah, because you working. And then the thing about it is, like, you're emotionally detaching from anybody who fucking is annoying you, hurting you, manipulating you, whatever the case may be. Karma is being served. Trust me, this person can't even sleep at night. All because they wanted to have you read between the lines instead of communicating their true feelings. Like... This person struggled to communicate their true feelings. Like you always had to guess the answers and shit and fill in the blanks with yourself because this person was trying to destroy you. They really did not want you to see your worth. This is the reason why they tried to emotionally manipulate you. They tried to break you, but it didn't work. It just really ended up becoming a waste of time because you outsmarted their goofy asses. Yeah, they frustrated though, overwhelmed. They paranoid. Like, you don't, you can't trust this person for shit. It could be a Cancer or a Sagittarius. But this person don't have no self-discipline. They be completely out of fucking control, especially when they get upset. When you find out some shit about this person, like, or when something come out that they don't want to come out, when you find out even intuitively, you ain't even, you don't even need no photo proof or nothing. When I tell you this person gonna go fucking crazy and start destroying all type of shit, I'm not lying to you. Because they will never take accountability for the shit that they do. That just ain't even they style. Like, let's be 100. That is not their fucking style. They will stab you in the back, give it some time to try to let it wear off and come back and do it again. You ain't gonna never hear I'm sorry. None of that. You ain't gonna never hear I wasted your time. None of that shit. You gotta have me, an actual reader, read that shit to you because this person never gonna tell you. Angel number 2348. They never gonna tell you. But it's like this person literally, they have not healed. They're not, they, they're still toxic. I see photographs here. So this person got pictures. That they're probably going to try to blackmail you with. They cannot stop looking at your pictures. You got this shit twice. Looking at your pictures. There's some picture that they use. I've been getting this a lot. Somebody masturbates to your pictures. I'm trying to tell you. I've been getting that a lot. This person wants to make new memories. They've been using the same fucking picture for about two years now. Like, I don't even understand. Like, this person don't even enjoy intimacy or sex with the people that they have coming into their life. Angel number 444. 
They literally have to use your pictures because they think about you so much and they want you so much and they look for you and everybody else so much that they got to use your pictures to even get off. Like, these new people don't even arouse them. Like, they're not even moved by them. They're so busy comparing them to you and none of them ain't you. That's the reading, my loves. If it resonated or if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, join the family, and I'll see you on your next video. Peace.